In this video, we're going to talk about how you should approach skipping and marking questions for the ACT math test. For the ACT math test, we've already talked about how you should plan to take the test twice by first skipping any questions you either don't know how to do or that you think will take a long time to do. Here, we'll talk about how you should keep track of both questions you skip and questions where you're not entirely sure about your answer. Similar to our strategy for the English test, we recommend using the first page of the test to keep track of every question that you skip or are not sure about. This way, you don't need to waste time flipping through the test to find these questions. So, right when you start the test, fold in the corner of the first page of the test so you can find it easily. On this page, you will write down the numbers of questions that you skip on the left side of the page and the numbers of questions that you're not entirely sure of the answer on the right side. Also, circle the numbers of these questions as you go through the test. I would also put a question mark by the numbers of the questions where you're not sure about the answer so you can easily see which questions you skipped and which ones are the ones that you're not sure about. Then, after you finish the test, you can just flip back to the first page to figure out which questions you need or want to spend more time on. Writing down the numbers of both questions that you skip and questions where you're not sure about on the first page of the test in this way is one of the secrets to getting a great score on the ACT math test because this allows you to make the most of your time after you finish the test. Instead of going back over questions that you are already confident about, you can spend all of your time only going over the more important questions which will help you maximize your score on the ACT math test.